Hello, Taylor Mitchum here from Janeiro, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the two most overlooked drone business opportunities in real estate, coming up right now. So the two, real estate is one of those areas where a lot of people get into it, especially when they're first getting started. And I've noticed that there's two areas within real estate that people don't talk about and that a lot of drone business owners don't necessarily get into. And I think it's because they may not know about it or it's not something that's put in front of their faces every day. Um, I see that when people go into real estate on the drone side or they get into drones and then they go into real estate, a lot of times they go to realtors who are selling single family homes. And that's a great place to start because you can see in your area and in your neighborhood what homes are for sale or for rent. But I notice that there are way bigger and more lucrative opportunities that I don't see drone pilot seizing in two areas of real estate. And one of them is on the commercial side of real estate, specifically with land acquisition and larger real estate complexes, complexes such as large commercial areas like old manufacturing plants and places like that. And the other side is in the rental market, specifically apartment complexes and townhome complex areas. So I'm gonna to touch upon each one of these really quickly and kind of explain to you why I think you should go after those two markets within real estate and how you can do so. Commercial real estate side and land acquisition side, this side of real estate is a side that's not very popular amongst the average consumer and that's because a lot of us may not have purchased a 50 acre parcel of land to develop for something. But actually these land developers and these people looking at these parcels of land, they want to know exactly what they're getting themselves into and not just the land itself. They don't necessarily just want a survey of the land or pictures of the land, but they also want to see what is going on in the surrounding area. So not only the parcel of land, but what's going on in the surrounding area. Is there housing close to that area, especially for commercial real estate acquisitions? So is, are there, is there affordable housing in the area? What type of housing is in the area? What other amenities are in the area? Is there a community center? Is there a Walmart? Is there a shopping mall? Is there a CVS and things of that nature? So these real estate development companies can use aerial data to make better decisions about whether or not they're going to buy these parcels of land. So before you decide, if you're thinking about going into real estate, before you decide to go into the single family home business where you do a $300 or $200 or $100 shoot really quickly, I would caution you to look into this land acquisition and this commercial real estate development side because there really is these people who buy these properties, who buy these parcels of land, pay a lot of money to acquire them, and these realtors and these brokers, they make a big commission off of a lot of these deals. So I think there is money in the land acquisition and the commercial real estate market that a lot of drone pilots just aren't tapping into right now within their businesses because, again, a lot of people go with what they know versus seeing other opportunities out there. So another opportunity within the real estate world that I don't see a lot of drone pilots going after is the rental market. And when I say rental markets, I mean apartment complexes, townhome complexes, duplex types of places. And I think a lot of people think there's no money to be made there. But truth be told, property management companies and companies that own multi-family apartment complexes and things it is imperative to them to keep those properties rented. Again, imperative that they keep those properties rented and they pay a lot of marketing dollars to do so, especially the commercial apartment complexes. Particularly, the thing that helps their complex stand out from another complex is either price or the amenities that they offer. And a lot of those amenities are pools or golf course or something of that, you know, pool, golf course, tennis courts, 
recreational things such as that gym, fitness center, things like that. And then also their close proximity to other things in their area. And aerial photography and videography is a great way to demonstrate, again, just like with the land side of real estate, to demonstrate what things are in the area. So Again, before you start going into real estate and getting into the single family home grind, look into these two other areas of real estate as well and see how well you can do with that. So now your next question probably is, who should I talk to if I'm going to go into one of these areas? And I suggest speaking to a broker on the commercial land side and the commercial real estate side. Definitely you're going to want to speak with the brokers and see what their hurdles are, what their struggles are, if they're struggling with their marketing and getting the land out there and things of that nature. And on the other side with the rental market with apartments and duplexes and townhomes and things like that, I would implore you to talk to these property management companies. And the reason why is because again, they spend a lot of money to keep their places at maximum capacity rentals or rented at maximum capacity, excuse me. So you definitely wanna to talk to these property management companies or brokers, depending on who owns the properties and who's trying to rent them out. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I have a free gift for you. In the first link in the description, I have my free profitable client course that will help you get clients for your drone business in four days or less. So if you click the link in the description, enter in your email, I'll send it over to you right away. And as always, if you found value from this video, hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment telling me what I should do a video about next. Have a great day. Bye.